Hi guys, I have a very exciting haul for you today. Leo's heard all the rumbling. Alrighty, we gotta sew some autumn clothes. Say hello, monkey. Hello. Alrighty, I have a very exciting haul today. This is gonna be my first autumnal haul and I thought I would do a more high street haul to kick everything off into autumn. Sorry, my chair isn't straight. There we go, am I straight? Are we level? We're rolling. <laughs> and I thought I would kick everything off with a proper old school Amina Liana high street haul and do an under 30 pounds haul. I haven't done one of these maybe for about a year, a year and a half. So I'm so excited to get into this, aren't we? By the way, all the links to everything are in the description box, so you can go there to find things. Click, click. <laughs> you can also subscribe to Pretty Little Things YouTube channel. You can click the link in the description box to do so. Today, my haul is gonna be from Pretty Little Thing. I have an absolutely enormous bag of things to get through, and it's quite a big variety as well. I am really into my classic autumnal colors and I pretty much rotate the same three autumnal colors every autumn. <laughs> so we have that color over there, which is like more of a sort of deep dark purple, the color of leaves, which is that bag over there. And then the color I'm wearing now, which is like light sort of dark green, a light dark green. Hmm, okay. I saw this tank top on Pretty Little Thing and this is my absolute favorite neckline. A square neckline is my favorite. It's a similar color top to what I'm wearing now and it is a great ribbed tank. So I thought this would be absolutely perfect for me to wear. It's actually described as olive. There we go, olive. That's a light dark green, hmm, olive Amelia. <laughs> this is gonna be absolutely perfect for me. This top is so great. I think this color looks incredible with gold jewelry and I've paired it with my other favorite autumnal little bag and I think that looks so beautiful. I think this neckline is incredible because it's so unique and it takes the top from being a basic nice olive tank top to really really special and make almost makes the outfit I think. So this is my full outfit. I've got the trainers on. I love that that little lace in the trainer sort of pulls up at the same color palette as the top. Got this little bag, my tighter jeans. I like this look more of a tight fitted look than some baggy jeans. And I think this is a wonderful transitional outfit. I'm really happy with this. Oh, I missed out one of the colors. The other color that I wear a lot of is more of like a burnt leave. So it's like that color, but a bit darker. And this dress, it's like a shirt dress, but it has almost like a fitted corset in it and buttons all the way down the front and long sleeves. Now, I still love wearing dresses. I wear dresses all year round, but when I want to wear dresses in winter, they obviously have to be long sleeves in autumn winter because otherwise I get too cold. So this dress, I'm really looking forward to wearing. I can always find such great things on pretty little thing. This dress fits so beautifully. The length is perfect for me. I love the length right above the knee. And this is really, really flattering. That little waistline, it gives me a waist. I don't really have a waist normally. And buttons all the way down the front. And this is really protective of my boobs. Like I don't feel like I'm gonna have a nip slip at all. Love the sleeves. I've gone for a very caramel vibe here. I've got the caramel bag, the light, light shoes. And I love how this looks. I feel like I could also wear this with biker boots as well. And that would look great too. Okay, so I've seen these tank tops, these padded shoulder tank tops. And I believe the brand was called the Frankie Shop and it's around a hundred pounds for a tank top, which I wasn't prepared to spend when I think I can find something similar on the high street. And I did find something similar on Pretty Little Thing. I'm not sure if this trend is gonna suit me, but these are basically the vest tops with padded Oh, I'm literally like covering Leo, he looks like a little ghost. <laughs> there you are, puppy. Um, yeah, with padded shoulders. And I think tucked into jeans with a belt could look great. So let's give that a go. Love this look. I don't know what you think of the padded tee. Let me know down below in the comments. I don't think this one is ultra padded, so that's why I kind of like it. And I like that the t-shirt is thicker, so the padding sort of fits with that sort of thicker t-shirt feel. 
and I've paired this with my Chloe bag. I've got the tight jeans on and some flats just to keep it casual. But I kind of like this. I feel like this is an elevated tee. And that's all the kind of things that I want in my wardrobe right now. I want like basic cozy things but just a bit better than how I would wear my pajamas, you know? Now I'm really, really, really into bodies. I got into bodies in the past like six to eight months, I think, especially if you have a short torso like me and you want things to be tucked in, bodies are great. I thought nothing better than a puff sleeve body. This one is a nice rib body. It has three buttons down the front and it's black, which is great because that means I can always wear it and Leo thinks it's for him to play with. <laughs> I'm so, so excited about this. So I love the pretty little thing, do really great statement pieces, but also good basics as well. By the way, after this, I'm gonna get round to switching over my rail to a more autumn wintery rail, because I'm definitely not wearing any of those bright colors right now. But this is the bodysuit I'm trying on. I wanted to try on with a proper outfit as I would normally wear it. So I'm wearing it with baggy jeans, which is what I would normally wear it with my Fendi bag and I love the way it fits I love how it sits it sits really comfortably and it feels amazing it feels exactly like I would want a chilled t-shirt to feel but I think it just has more of an elevated look with the sleeves and the little button down as well and this is a total winner <gasps> this I thought was really, really sweet and I'm so happy they had it in my size. This is a really gorgeous button down front play suit. So I love play suits, as you know. This is more of like a wintry one and it looks almost like pajamas. It's that sort of material where it just feels really soft and really cozy and then it has buttons down the front as well. I think this would look so great with white trainers. So I'm gonna style this up and see what it's like. This feels so soft, it literally feels like my pajamas, but actually looks so much more put together than that. I feel like because it's so warm and cozy, I could wear it with tights or I could wear it with white trainers like I'm wearing now, paired it with a black bag. Here's a little close up of the front. If you had smaller boobs, you could probably get away with wearing it a little bit lower even if you wanted to. I've left three buttons undone but I feel like I might have a bit of a nip slip if the fourth one comes out but if you had um, smaller boobs than me then you could definitely have it lower if you wanted to um, or you could have a little bralette peeping through. Did I mention that it has pockets? Anything that has pockets is a downright win to me. Next up I got some tracksuits and I was actually wearing when I was walking the dogs this morning my pretty little thin grey tracksuit but I bought another one in a mint color which is gorgeous it's almost like a um, mint gray mile mix which is great and i would definitely wear this with a body and um trainers as well oh i love the inside it's so soft a little watermelon vibe here <laughs> got my comfy track suits these are as comfy as my other ones that i have from pretty little thing they're great i love the fit of them as well i like really baggy with a nice elasticated waist room for the food i paired this with a little black body my pink bag i love mini bags with track suits and white trainers. These are great. I'll show you the color a bit close up here. I love the worn feel of this and you can see the gray mesh with the mint. Ooh, I forgot to tell you that, that, um, that, that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, 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 that dress that I showed you earlier. I also got in white, a white shirt dress. I have been looking for a white shirt dress probably for my whole adult life. So I have high hopes for this one. Let's hope it looks good. This one is a bit different actually because it has the lining down the front rather than a corset in the middle, but it is a really, really similar style. Um, and I just think white shirt dresses are so easy to throw on, especially if you want to look more formal, but you still want to just chuck on one simple thing. I feel like if I was going to watch the tennis, this is exactly what I would want to wear. I love the fit of this. This pleating down the dress is beautiful. It's beautifully, beautifully done. I would definitely need to wear nude underwear. You can see my blue underwear sort of peeping through. And I'm pairing this with quite a different bag for me. I feel like I would need to spruce this up with some color. And I've gone for some white flats as well. But I love the t-shirt dress vibe and I love the shape that it gives my body. This style top 
I didn't get into last autumn and I really wanted to this year. I bought one maybe in March time and then we had the heat wave pretty much from March. So I wasn't able to get any wear out of it. So I got one in black, which I thought would be great for the evenings. I'm always, 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 always looking for more evening tops. And this one has a square neckline, which I love, puff sleeves, which I also love, long sleeves with buttons down the sides of the sleeves and buttons down the front as well. So I think this is a great little staple piece. I've got some really good staples and then some really good things for autumn as well. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes to this outfit. This top looks so much pricier than it actually is. It is such an amazing fitted top. It lo looks so premium. And then I've literally paired it with my tight cut out jeans, this red bag to add a pop of color to my outfit and my little black heels. And I love this look. I feel like if I'm going for drinks or dinner or going to an event in the evening, not that I go to events anymore, there's no events, but I mean, if I was going out to meet friends, this would be perfect. And I love this. I feel like I could also wear this top with trainers. I might try that on now. Instead of trainers, I'm going for little nude ballet flats to see what that looks like. And maybe I'll switch it up with a nude bag as well. And this is probably how I would wear it in the daytime with a bigger bag to make it more day appropriate. Nude shoes. And that looks great. I love, love this top. I think this is definitely one of my favorites from the whole haul. Ooh. I keep ooing and ahhing at everything. These I'm really excited about wearing. Pretty Little Thing do some of my favorite jewelry, my favorite high street jewelry. And if you remember when I went to Mexico, maybe like two years ago now, I had these coin hoop earrings that I wore to death. I even bought backups of them. They were from Pretty Little Thing. And a lot of my statement jewelry is from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like their designs, oh, does anyone remember the star and the moon that I used to wear a lot? I actually think my sister borrowed them from me. Borrowed them from me. Anyway, they were from Pretty Little Thing as well. These are gorgeous little butterfly studs. They're a bit bigger than I thought and I think you can actually maybe bend the wings a little bit of the butterfly. There we go, yeah. I'll try these on and see what they look like. I'll show you. Last but not least, we have a very simple little printed dress. I love ditzy floral prints. A lot of, lot of my prints in my wardrobes are ditzy floral, described as ditzy floral, and that is exactly what this does. Why I went for it was because it has a little elasticated waist and I always find that really, really flattering. This is one that I think would look great with biker boots. I actually need to get my biker boots out of storage. I haven't got them out yet and I haven't changed my rack yet. That is on the to-do list this week. But look how gorgeous this dress is. I think paired with a really sexy, masculine, cool bag like this Prada one. I mean, it's not masculine, but it is cool. <laughs> Let me put that over here so you can see the dress properly. It has a little belt in the middle, so you can see it's super, super flattering on the waistline. Gives you a little bit of a hinchy vibe in here. Love the short sleeves love the length i think pretty little thing get the length and the details of their clothes so right their fits are always always incredible i'll leave my sizes down below as well by the way then it has a little flowy bit at the bottom of the skirt and i think this would just be absolutely great day to day i think i could wear it with tights biker boots whack a big coat over the top and that would be fabulous that is everything for my pretty little thing autumn high street haul all the links will be in the information box below make sure you subscribe to my channel and pretty little things channel and i will see you very soon with another video thanks for watching bye